Make food for people in the future in this factory game. Weird premise, but try it if you're technically minded. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Bunger. Whoa, full screen. Amazing. Damn, here we go again. I think. Damn, they had full screen games back then. Zagtronics presents. 20th century food court with jam and music that just ends right now. Basically, I'm making a factory to synthesize food for people. So is this the tutorial? Oh, interesting. I have to like make machines and it seems that there's time and cost. And don't worry, if there's ever anything under my face cam, it's going elsewhere. But at this company, I've got to create machines, I guess. Holy fuck. Let's read some instructions. It's time to disappear. I got the ingredients. You stack them on the tray. Okay, so I put the nacho on the tray, and then I put the cheese on the nacho, and I deliver the nacho cheese to the output. I deliver the pretzel to the pretzel output. And then both the nacho cheese chip and the pretzel have their own machines that have their own lights on, and each light probably correlates to a red circle. Okay, so I can buy factory machines. Scans a barcode, and it provides information on what was ordered. And the stacker holds a product until eject is activated, and then subsequent products will be stacked on the held product. $20,000? Do I have that? Oh, I see, I have a limit, limited budget. And these are machines that I have, so this must be moved. Okay, so the left side is the logic, the right side is the actual machinery. So I can move these down here. Can I move them like on top? I can. Can I just take a machine, put it here? Oh, I see. So each machine has its own little logic. So if I don't want this, I can delete it. I'm coming back. There's no reason to hide anymore. See, I feel as though I need a conveyor belt, do I not? Step, hold on. Wait, where did this conveyor belt come from? Well, that helps a little bit, actually. Okay, after staring at everything for forever, I finally figured out what everything is. So, you make the trays, you make the pretzels, you make the chip. I gotta add the cheese to the chip with this thing, and then all the food comes to here. So I need this scanner to actually tell me what the hell was ordered. But how do I get this thing to work? Like, if I make this- oh, it scans like that, so it tells me I need nacho. So I first scan what it is, then I've got to do some stacking. Maybe I'll just have everything feed into the beginning. Then I can have the compare about kind of go through like this, but then I gotta wire everything together, and that I haven't figured out yet. So what I know is, if I scan a nacho, I'm gonna make a nacho. And if I scan a pretzel, I'm gonna make a pretzel. Does this do anything? Scan, nacho. I stack the nacho and nothing's happening right now. Game mentions I can stack, then eject. So stack, and then send it on its way. But, well, what if the scanner is instead here? And then actually, if I start nacho, I do a nacho, and if I start pretzel, do a pretzel? Like maybe this thing is actually hooked up to, well, I don't know what it's actually hooked up to. Maybe it's this? Like, this tells me what order is needed, so that's what this is. And the scan, I was thinking, if I scan and it's a nacho, then I should add cheese. And maybe that's all I need? Holy crap, it works. I'm gonna press play. So now I have a pretzel, and I stack the pretzel without cheese. But let's be real, pretzels are better with cheese. Ah! Okay, I could be slightly more efficient. I could do it in eight steps instead of nine. I'm gonna do it. And it's actually quite easy because you just have the pretzel be closer to the action. This should definitely be eight steps, right? Yeah, it's a step to make a single thing of food. Wow, I did it. I didn't make it cheap though. Hold on. I could make it a lot cheaper, couldn't I? Like, I could take this, rotate it, and then take you and rotate it. This is cheaper than the cheapest, right? These products have collided. 
Okay, noted. Well, then there's really only one way and that's okay. It's just by having a conveyor belt like this. Wow, amazing. It only took me like 20 minutes, but I figure out how this stuff works. So now I'm gonna make a Hot Pocket, probably. I decided I'm not gonna be reading the little flavor text. I just wanna make some Hot Pockets. Oh, they got a P Hot Pocket freezer. Oh, I've been given a lot of stuff. So I can microwave the Hot Pocket and count. I guess just counting for counting steps, counting time. It probably takes some amount of time to microwave. So waiting is required. Let's cook some Hot Pockets. First, you must microwave the Hot Pocket. I think a nice line like this will work. Then you must stack the Hot Pocket on its tray. And I don't know whether I'm actually gonna do the counter yet. For all I know, I don't need to. So, Pocket goes into Oven. Well, Pocket makes Pocket. Stack is just stacks and ejects. Oven scents then ejects, but it's probably gotta have a counter. So it goes in the oven. Oh yeah, it's not even close to eat it. That thing is frozen. That's a freezy burrito right there. So here's the counter. So I sense that there's a hot pocket. It looks like I needed four ticks. That's the vibe I was getting. And then when I hit zero, I eject. Is that how it works? It didn't work. Oh. I think the output only monitors if it's zero or positive. And also, the counter added by four. What if I just never eject? Can I overcook this hot pocket? Heated, 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 heated. Hot! Too hot! It's burning. I burnt the hot pocket. I didn't even know that was possible. Still, I feel like when it's zero, it needs to eject, but how do I get it to like start at negative four? <gasps> oh! Oh! Start at negative four. That's it. That's totally it. It's beautiful. A glorious hot boy is my tray. Oh, awesome. Hell yeah. All right, I made the cheapest one, but not the fastest one. So I'm going to do a little better here. Well, I think I just need to relocate <laughs> some of this stuff then. If the, the stacker is like at the bottom, then I can move these refrigerators closer, and then they'll have less the distance to travel? Well, here's how it's gonna work, right? It's gonna microwave while the tray is actually making it to the stacker. So that's time saved. Time saved is a faster product, and there we go. Wait, I love this minigame. Okay, how about the wine o'clock? Hell yeah, let's bottle some wine. So I now have a sorter. Holds each product until an input is activated and dispatches the held product to the direction specified by the inputs. And a multi-mixer. Combines up the four input si signals, allowing the output signals to be used up to four times, or if present, the enable input must also be active for the outputs to be to activate, which is an and. Interesting. Logic operators. We are straight up machine programming, and I love it. So this can input wine. This will dispense the tray. So when I start, I'll make a glass. Do I not have a stacker? I do have a stacker. Let's put that right here. That's a simple stack eject. And it looks like I am gonna need a scanner to tell me whether it's red or white wine. Well, this seems like the simplest solution. If it's red, you dispense red. If it's white, you dispense white. But is the game gonna tell me there's like a way faster way to do it? Perhaps. Excuse me? The product doesn't match the order. Bitch, what? Oh, wait, there's separate instructions for every level. Ah, I need to dispense wine twice to fill. Of course, I can't be shortchanging my customers. Well, can I have two wine dispensers? No, I cannot. So I've got to make like a big loop. Well, so is that the idea behind the sorter? Oh, God. So sometimes it's got to loop back around, and then sometimes it's got to serve it. Okay, time to make sense of these multi-mixers. So here's my understanding of the left one. The left one means if any of the top four get an input, then 
all of the bottom four will send an output. If it receives any yeses, then it will eject all yeses, well, from connected wires. And then the right one needs both the enable and an input yes. And then and only then will it eject all the output yeses. Hopefully. <laughs> I could be wrong. Let me clean some stuff up right here. Get this here, get the glass close to the beginning. So first let me test out my theory about how these actually work. So if I produce either a red or, whoa, a white, then the outputs will active. And actually you can see the lights on. So that's probably a sign I'm onto something. So what I wanted to do was at the start, do a minus two to the counter. So start, yeah, minus two, because I got input, so it's subtracted. And then what I wanted to do was whenever I sensed something on the D-pad, I would add one, and then whenever this hit zero, it would go straight. So first let me, I mean, it should add one. It's added one. And then it added one again, so it goes straight. But I mean, I have to fill it twice. But what I was thinking is that at negative one, I send it to the right, so it loops around. Ooh, so here's an idea. I copy another one of these ores, and the sense actually goes into here, and I can copy a counter. And I'm actually gonna have two counters. One that's a minus two, and one's one that is a minus one. And when the sense happens, I'm going to subtract one from both counters, but this first counter is gonna hit zero first. So this first counter represents basically the first time it hits the D-pad, so I want it to go to the right when this happens. So we'll go step by step. You can see the rightmost counter at minus one. As once it hits zero, it will tell it to go to the right. Uh, so it, 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 okay, right relative to the machine, so actually left. The machine is facing down, so according to the machine, it's left is my right. Okay, noted. But then, yeah, now that zero, oh, it counted twice. I did not expect it to count twice. Oh, but that's fine, because now it's zero, it goes straight through. And then they're back to the numbers they were at before. Yeah, this is all good. It's perfect. It's extremely expensive and extremely slow. Oh God, but it works. Let's see if I can optimize for speed somehow. You know, it just occurred to me that this could be a control scheme. <laughs> I don't need to do the loop. This can be here, probably. Well, with that in mind, so for starters, it's never gonna go left. So I don't need this anymore. Then I don't need this anymore because I can just have sense go straight to here. Oh my God. Well, and that's probably it, right? It just fills twice. Oh, it tried to fill three times. Hold on, hold on. So clearly this should be a minus one not a minus two. Yeah. Wait, that was nine ticks though, not eight. It's top 10 percentile, but not top percentile. Someone got eight ticks. At least I got the cost down. Let's see if I can figure out how to get eight ticks. Hold up. Can I have this scanner? Scan. While the Trey is here, and in a shocking turn of events, pour the wine like here? Does that make any sense? It could. Also think there should definitely be two scanners. I'm gonna need some of these though. Because if either of these read red, then I'm gonna want an output of red. And if either scanner reads white, I'm gonna want an output of white. However, it is going to over pour, but what I wanna find out is if it happens to be faster. Because, yeah, it's going to dispense stuff like a dummy. So what if I make it real simple and put the stacker here? Maybe this will work, actually. 
isn't this like no nah, it's not faster damn it wait am i not really close though like maybe i just needed to time this wait yeah is, doesn't this work oh my god yeah 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 i was on to something pour the glass before putting it in just slightly off well cool i reached top percentile it's a bit more expensive i also want to do a machine that's as cheap as possible so what does that look like i mean i obviously need a, a sorter i obviously need a stacker oh and of course i need a scanner i feel like though i'm already above the limit yeah somehow top percentile is sixty-one thousand. well maybe oh maybe no scanner actually yeah that's probably it i just have a scanner list solution it's just got to be timed basically so i'm gonna need a counter i barely know her and then just some way to actually have perpetual counting oh and every conveyor belt is expensive so obviously when i start i'm making a glass stack is gonna stack eject i think i need a another counter i'm at 57k really quick though this start is actually going to be a multi-mixer it's going to one create a glass and also it's going to subtract one okay and then red will increase one counter white will increase another counter and then how it's going to go is when it starts the counter that actually has the correct color is going to be zero and the counter that has the incorrect color will be negative one like this the red counter is zero, the white counter is negative one because it's a red cup. So then, see if I can make like a an and multi-mixer because it has to sense. Oh, this is not easy actually. Like I was thinking of sort and this would result in a red and this would result in a white, but I still need the enable. Um, so I need another one of these. But now I'm like getting really close to the cost and I still don't have a way for it to actually go forward. I could do it with a third counter, but I might be over cost now. So like in the very beginning, I could like minus two and then whenever it senses it plus ones and then whenever it zeros, it goes through. Would this work for starters? Boop, boop. It tries to apply more liquid. Crap. Oh, just because well, it doesn't go through. So I gotta make this minus one. Gotta just send it on, on its way. There we go. That's legitimate. 63k, nine cycles, but I believe I need to shave 2,000? I need to shave $2,000 somehow. Well, I'm happy with my 63,000 cost. It's not perfect, but it's good as I'm gonna get right now. And it probably makes for a good place to end it. There's a few other mini games in this. It's a very tough game. I imagine the other ones will be easier. I will say I enjoy this game a lot. If I don't get another video out of it, I'm definitely playing it in my own time. I'll see you guys all in the next video, whatever it may be. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day and peace.